All right, so let's take a look at the commandlet get hotfix, which will tell us more information about the hotfixes that we have installed on our system, which is kind of important in case um, you want to do some sort of inventorying or um, whatever your needs are. Sometimes you need to know that you have a certain hotfix, and this is a way that you can do it. So get hotfix has a couple of its own uh, parameters that you can use. You could type in the ID of a specific uh, hotfix and um, have it pull back to see whether you have that on your system. It does take a little bit to run, but as you can see, I have that hotfix. You could even pull back um, cer certain type of hotfixes using the um, description. And let's go ahead and try to find uh, pack service packs. Uh, and we're just typing in packs with the wild cards and so I have a service pack installed so those are a couple of quick ways that you can do it and you'll see that it pulls back a bunch of information for us we get the source which is the computer it's on the description uh, the hotfix ID so you have the knowledge base number if you want to look it up online and see what it is who it was installed by and uh, when it was installed so we have a, a bunch of information there um, let's say that you wanted to find out all the service packs installed by a certain user. You could do something uh, along the lines of this, put it into for each, and uh, if the install by is I like Fern, which will try to look for the name Fern in the installed by section, I'll have it write host. And so these are all the hot fixes that were installed by my user, and I could output that to a list if I wanted to. Um, we could do the same thing with dates, and that's one technique uh, that could be used. Maybe you want to find out all of the hot fixes that were installed on the system. Um, you could do a technique like this uh, where I'm basically just generating a list and uh, I'm using the hot fixes with get enumerator and passing it to select object and then I'm having it expand the property hotfix ID. So um, when we had uh, the table up here earlier with all the hotfixes listed. This will allow us to simply just select the hotfix ID column and then by expanding the property it will remove the header and we're combining that without file to send it to my desktop in a text file with the computer name. And Here we have the input object is the list. So if I go ahead and run this I can now open up the file and you'll see I now have a file with all of the um, the hotfix IDs that were installed on this system so I could use this for um, reference as a reference I could use it for inventory purposes I could combine this into other elements of an automation script um, and so that's pretty much all I wanted to show off the get hotfix commandlet lets you interface um, with the hotfixes on your machine to see what you have and um, there's different ways that you can uh, combine some code to search through it and find out uh, different kinds of hotfixes, when they were installed, who they were installed by, and um, use it for, for whatever you need it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.